Welcome back, guys. Um, I thought I'd do a, just a brief video on uh, the new pack bang. Now, I've been running it for about a week, and uh, there are different ways of modifying the system. Uh, you can add a, a dock to the bottom and uh, put all your uh, all your icons in the dock. You can do, do docky or plank, um, but then it kind of becomes a little bit too much like regular arch with XFCE or with a with a dock at the bottom. So if you wanna if you like to, the open box look, it's very simple. Um, what you can do is uh, you have a couple of options. You can modify the right click menu to uh, be dynamic and add in all of your uh, programs that you download and also you can iconify it so that the icons show uh, and so that's the subject for a different video um, but today I just want to do a brief video on how to add your uh, frequently used applications to the to the uh, toolbar at the top now uh, as you can see, I added OBS Studio, but it's a really simple process. If you right-click the menu, and then you go down to a Configuration, and then DE for Desktop Environment, and then go all the way down to Tint 2 GUI, you're going to see a theming menu for your Tint 2 panel, which is at the top of the screen. And if you click on Edit Theme and just go down to Launcher, you will see that you've got, on the left-hand side of your screen, you've got the um, program icons that currently reside in the top left. And then on the right side, you've got all of your other programs that you have installed. So you can move any of these from the right side to the left side using the arrow you can also move them up and down change their location in the uh, placement in the in the panel by using the up and down arrow keys so for example let's say I wanted the uh, terminal to be the first one shown uh, in the top left corner well all you have to do is shoot it up there with the arrow and then click apply and you can so you can ch easily change the the uh, placement of your icons now if you want to add icons let's say you just want to keep it simple no dock uh, you just want to put in your frequently used applications in that top panel all you have to do is once you're in this launcher section just take a look at what you have installed in the uh, top in the in the on the right side of this menu now all you have to do is select let's say for example G parted if I want that icon to appear in my toolbar I'm just gonna click left to move it to the left panel then I'm going to take leaf pad and I'm gonna move it to the left panel uh, I already have OBS Studio, so let's see, what else can I put over there? <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot installed, so let's do NVIDIA settings, and we'll just move that over there. Okay, so now that I have those, I can manipulate the location by using the up and down arrow keys. So let's say I want my file manager first then my terminal and then let's say I want OBS next followed by G parted and then leaf pad and then Nvidia and that will leave Firefox last then once I have the the uh, the sequence set the way I want it I just click apply and then click OK and then you can close out this menu and that gives you all of your frequently used um, menu items or applications in the order that you want them and it keeps the desktop looking extremely clean 
Now keep in mind when you first install um, your pack bang, make sure you scroll down to the start manual. It's right in your home folder. And make sure you run through every one of these items and follow the follow the list. Because you want to make sure you follow all of these steps. That's your first order of business after installing pack bang. Then as I said, you can create a dynamic right click menu with icons and uh, more than likely I'm going to do another video on that. But this keeps it simple. Put your icons where you want them and uh, still keeps you with your simple looking open box desktop. So guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care.